All right, no filter MMA fans. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. So guys, I'm here to talk about this upcoming matchup. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got to thinking today, like, you know, a lot of shit has went down in flyweight as of recent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of flyweight shit done went down as of recent. You know what I'm saying? And these flyweights, they got to step it up. Like these, these flyweights that have these up and coming fights, you know what I'm saying? They literally have to step their game up. You know what I'm saying? They have to match. They have to look good like Alexa Grasso did. They have to look good like Manon Furo did. They have to look good like these flyweights have been looking as of late. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, listen, listen, KGB, Adarujo, all of them, they got to step their game up. You know what I'm saying? Like right now is a, is a time where we have to see what this division is all about. You know what I'm saying? We have to see... You know what I'm saying? With the rest of this division, we've had the rest of the girls in this division, other than Valentina Shevchenko, they've had all the time in the world to listen to people say, you know, there's no there's no competition for Valentina. It's Valentina and everybody else. They've had years to sit there and listen to it. My question is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Alexa Grasso is showing us what she's going to do about it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully Taylor Santos shows us what she's going to do about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Manon Furo has shown us what she's going to do about it. Casey O'Neill has shown us what she's going to do about it. You know what I'm saying? So now it's time for Marina Morose. It's time for, you know, Miranda Maverick. It's time for Montana De La Rosa. It's time for Aaron Blanchfield. And I want to specifically point out, of course, my girl, Montana De La Rosa. At this point, for Montana, Montana's in that in-between situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, Montana has to either make a statement or... It, it, it just let it be what it is. You know what I'm saying? She just wants to let it make a statement or let it be what it is. You know, um, Montana has to, in this fight with Macy Barber, Montana is going to have to really show us who she is. You know what I'm saying? She's going to have to really show us who she is and what she's made out of. You know what I'm saying? Because I can tell you right now, Macy Barber is going to come in here and try to take Montana's head off. Every tool that De La Rosa has used in her in, in, in the fights leading up to this, the improvements in her striking, you know what I'm saying, the improvements in her ground game, the the the, the urgency in her TKOs on the ground versus, you know, hunting for submissions, you know what I'm saying? That urgency that she showed, you know what I'm saying? This that has to be what Montana De La Rosa does. You know what I'm saying? That has to be the route that we see her take in this fight. You know what I'm saying? She has to be she has to be willing to go deep. Like Macy Barber will go. Macy Barber, I, one thing you have to say about Macy Barber is she's a three round fighter. You know what I'm saying? And then she'll try to dig deep in that third round and try to get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? And Montana, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Montana's a good fighter and she'll try to finish you. But I feel like this fight right here is going to come down. It's going to come down to the. I feel. I, 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 I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I smell a brawl. I smell a clash of right hands in this fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I, the, the right hand of Macy Barber and the right hand of Montana De La Rosa, I feel like it's going to be who can land that punch first. You know what I'm saying? Because Montana's got the power. You know what I'm saying? She's got the power. Her technique is better than Macy Barber's. It's just that Macy smells that finish on the feet a little quicker than Montana does, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, Macy goes in for that kill on the feet, which I don't think, you know, that opportunity has presented itself for Montana in a lot of her, in, you know, in most of her fights, in all of her fights, really, you know what I'm saying? But Macy Barber, you know, I think Montana can go there with Macy Barber, you know what I'm saying? I think Montana can swim in those waters, you know what I'm saying? She swam in those waters with Viviani Adarujo, you know what I'm saying? I think she can swim in those waters with Macy Barber. I think her jab can upset Macy Barber, you know what I'm saying? I think her, the, the you know, if Alexa Grasso, I'm not saying, not trying to compare Montana to, Macy, to Alexa Grasso, but when Alexa Grasso was was popping Montana with that right hand, when was popping, um, when she was popping, um, who am I thinking of? Oh, Macy Barber with that right hand. You know, she wobbled Macy Barber a few times in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Mon uh, Alexa Grasso wobbled her. So if Montana, you know what I'm saying, can time to set up that right hand, use that jab to set up that right hand, you know what I'm saying, and try to avoid getting busted up in this fight, I think Montana can prove a point here. You know what I'm saying? And at this point in her career, especially in her UFC run, 
we got to see that statement from Montana De La Rosa, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can get on there and I can preach to the cows come home about how good I think Montana De La Rosa is or how good I think Montana De La Rosa can be. You know, it, it's, it's up to Montana herself to show us how good she is and show us why there's people like me on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, preaching her name, st standing on the mountaintop, screaming her name out, you know what I'm saying, because I see the potential in Montana De La Rosa. I see a well-rounded fighter. I see a fighter, you know what I'm saying, very reminiscent of Amisha Tate, you know what I'm saying, and I know that that style is an effective style, and I know that it can work because I've seen it work. I've seen it work with fighters like Kat Zingano. I've seen it work with fighters like Misha Tate. You know what I'm saying? I've just seen it work with, with Juliana Pena. I've seen it work with Habib. I've seen it work too many times for me to say no. I've seen it work with TJ Dillashaw. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I just seen it work too much for me to say, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but Montana has to prove this division and prove, make a statement in this fight, not just for me, but for herself. You know what I'm saying? She has to make a statement for herself. You know what I'm saying? If she wants to be taken seriously in this division, Montana gonna have to come out here with blood in her eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like she gonna have to punish Macy Barber and show Macy they're not on the same level. I can, like I said, I can say all day long that Montana De La Rosa is on a different level than Macy Barber, which, in my opinion, she is on a different level than Macy Barber. Her striking is better. Her overall game is better. Her ground game is better. Everything is better when you look at. When you compare my when you compare Montana De La Rosa and Macy Barber, you know what I'm saying? Everything is better when you look at Montana. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm a fan of Montana, but I'm a realistic fan. You know what I'm saying? And you know, in this fight, Montana, she can't she gotta quit second guessing herself and she just gotta go for it. Against Macy Barber, you gotta go for it. You know what I'm saying? It can either cost you or, you know, whatever, you know, but with a fighter like Macy Barber. But I think that Montana has the chin to stay in there with Macy Barber. And I think she has the technique, man, especially if this fight takes place on the feet. I don't see Macy Barber trying to take the fight down. If the fight, tries, if the fight goes to the ground, I see Montana initiating that whole sequence. But if Macy, if Montana can just stay in there with Macy Barber, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and if this fight turns into a nasty brawl, I got Montana winning that, man. I, I, do, I got Montana, you know, sticking that long jab out there, coming over with that right hand. You know, Montana's incorporated a lot of kicks into her game, a push kick. She's throwing some head kicks. She's got a nice calf kick. You know what I'm saying? Like, nice one-two. You know, and then she throws bombs with that right hand. She just got to land it. She just got to land it. You know what I'm saying? So this is like a half, like, fan video, half realistic video. Like, now's the time that we need to see what Montana De La Rosa is made of. Now's the time that we need to see Montana step it up. Like I said, I can preach all day, but it's up to Montana. You know what I'm saying? It's up to De La Rosa to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I think she can win this fight. You know, I think it's a fight that makes a lot of sense for the division. You know, Macy Barber started off hot with that knockout over J.J. Aldridge that went over Jillian Robertson. You know what I'm saying? She started off hot in the division. She started off real hot in the division. You know what I'm saying? And Montana's been a long-time staple at 125 pounds. Long-time staple. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, she can't let somebody who hasn't been in the division from the beginning come in and take her spot. They're essentially fighting for the same spot, guys. You know what I'm saying? They're fighting for that same spot that Alexa Grasso's in, that Casey O'Neill's in. You know what I'm saying? For that Manon Fiodo's in. They're fighting for that spot, guys. So anyways, let me know what you guys feel about Montana having to make a statement out here. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, and your boy is out.